Okay, so l let's move to the second kind of reaction. That would be addition reaction. Like we saw addition reaction in alkyne, so would be addition reaction in case uh, we saw addition reaction in case of alkene. So would be the addition reaction in case of alkyne. Okay, uh, if we had alkene and if we added HBr to it. Let me quickly recapitulate to you what happened. This hydrogen going to f came here because hydrogen is having del positive charge. So that is going to approach a electron rich species. Hydrogen is going to approach alkene and hydrogen is going to form a bond with one of the carbon like this. Br minus is going to come out and then Br minus is going to go and attack on this carbon forming HPR bond. This was the RDS. The first step was the RDS and this was the intermediate in the reaction. This was a carbocation. Similarly, if we have alkyne and again I add HBr. Now again the same first step is going to happen. Hydrogen again is having plus charge polarity. Bromine is having minus charge polarity. Hydrogen is electron deficient and so hydrogen is going to come and ask for electron to the with al ask electron from alkyne. Alkyne is going to give electron and this end is going to give al electron because R is a stabilizing group. So plus charge, if plus charge comes on this carbon, then there will be more stabilization. So for plus charge to come on this carbon, a bond has to be formed with this carbon. This we understand by now. So the intermediate here would be this. So from HBr, H is going to get attached here, bromine is going to come out as Br minus. Now in the second step again, bromine is going to go and attack this plus charge and form a CBr, CBr bond as we had here CBr bond. Now the question is, we will get the product, there is no problem in that, but the question is that you will be asked and you must know which is more reactive, alkene or alkyne towards addition reaction. Now for reactivity what you see is the RDS. The one which crosses RDS easily will be more reactive because that's going to show reaction faster. So for, for RDS to be crossed easily the intermediate which is formed as a result of the RDS step should be stable. The stable intermediate will be formed easily and RDS will be crossed easily. Now here are the two intermediates in case of alkene and alkyne. This is the carbocation, this is the carbocation. Depending upon which one is more stable, that will decide which, which out of alkene or alkyne will be more reactive. Now this carbocation is electron deficient, this carbocation is electron deficient. Here you have a stabilizing group R, here you have a stab stabilizing group R. So stabilization effect in both the intermediate is same. So then you have to look for other factors. The other factor would be electronegativity value. More electronegative should not have plus charge. Less electronegative can bear plus charge. If you see the hybridization of this carbon, this carbon is making three pi bonds, sigma bonds. One with this R, one with this carbon, one with this hydrogen. Because of those three sigma bonds, the hybridization state of this carbon is sp2. The hybridization, and I, I, I hope, I hope you don't have any problem in finding hybridization. If you have, please go back to the lecture of finding hybridization. This carbon is making two sigma bond. Pi bond is not counted for hybridization. Plus charge is not counted for hybridization. These two sigma bonds is only counted for hybridization. So hybridization step will be sp because two sigma bonds require two or hybridized orbitals. Two hybridized orbitals will be getting, we will be getting by mixing two pure orbitals. We always start from s. One is s, another one will be p. Here, Three sigma bonds require three hybridized orbitals. Three hybridized orbitals will be formed when we mix three pure orbitals. We always start from S. One will be S. Another two will be P. So SP2. Here we require two orbitals. SP. Three orbitals. SP2. Fine. Hybridization state is SP. Percentage S character is 50%. Percentage S character here is 33%. Higher percentage S character, higher electronegativity value. Higher electronegativity value having plus charge electron deficiency makes it less stable but because this carbon is more electronegative so the plus charge on this carbon is less stable less stable intermediate means the rds will not be crossed easily that means this will not be formed easily so this step is going to be slow so overall reaction is going to be slow 
So that makes this alkyne less reactive because it is not showing a fast reaction. So it is less reactive. Comparatively, it will be faster. Comparatively, it is more reactive for addition reaction. Fine. So we have compared the uh, uh, reactivity. Then let's get the final product. So once you have this, this bromine is going to come in the next step and form a bond with this carbon. Fine. So this is going to be the product after addition of one HBr. Now we have one more pi bond. So there can be one addition one more time. Here we had only one pi bond. So after one addition, reaction stopped. But here we have one more pi bond. There could be second addition on that pi bond as well. So if we're going to do second addition, so now you have to decide on which carbon you're going to get carbocation. This bromine has lone pair. And this bromine, uh, the lone pair of this bromine can be utilized to stabilize the carbocation. So we will very much like to form carbocation on carbon number two, because when carbon number two gets a carbocation, there's a bromine attached to, on, to that carbon number two, and that bromine can give its electron lone pair to stabilize that carbocation. So there can be plus M effect of this bromine to stabilize this carbocation. So we'll like carbocation to be on carbon number two. So we'll like hydrogen to form a bond with carbon number one. So next time when HBr comes, so hydrogen is going to attach, form a bond with carbon number one. That is going to produce this intermediate. Two hydrogen already, one more comes, makes it, makes it CS3. Now this carbocation will have a stabilization effect via hyperconjugation with this R and via plus M with this bromine. So this carbocation is relatively stable when this Br- minus comes out, it gets attached to this carbon in the next step. So what you got is gem dibromide. In general, on addition of HX, you will get gem dihalide. You didn't get vicinal dihalide as you got in case of uh, alkene when you added Br2. Br2. When you add Br2 to this alkene, one bromine on this carbon, one bromine on this carbon. So you, you had vicinal dibromide. In this case, when you are adding HBr, two HBr will get added and both the bromine will get added on the same carbon. For the reason we understand very well from this step, that plus charge should be developed on the carbon attached to bromine. And where plus charge is developed to that carbon, the next incoming bromide will get attached. And hence, both the bromine comes on the same carbon. So the final product of addition of HBr to alkyne is gem dibromide. Both the bromine or both the halogen in general will get attached to the same carbon. Okay, so let me write this reaction properly for you. If you have an alkyne, so first of all, HBr2 equivalent is going to be consumed because of two pi bond and both the bromine is going to come on the same carbon. And that carbon will be the carbon on which the stabilization effect is higher. Both the bromine is not going to come on this carbon, on the terminal carbon. Both the bromine is going to come on internal carbon because of R group, because of stabilization of this R group. This you have to keep in mind. So addition is to say technically Markovnikov addition. Fine. So this is one kind of addition. Okay. So uh, if and suppose instead of HPR. I added Br2 and again two equivalent will be consumed because of two pi bond. So if you had alkene remember then what happened when you add Br2 bromine bromine comes first bromine get attached to this carbon then you have a plus charge developed here and next bromine is going to attach on this carbon. So because of one pi bond one bromine and one bromine is going to add like this. This mechanism we have seen already so no point seeing it again. So since you have two pi bond, so for the first pi bond, when you do addition on the first pi bond, one bromine and one bromine on both the carbon are going to get attached and one pi bond would be intact. When you add, do the addition second time, then one more bromine is going to be attached on adjacent carbon by the virtue of second pi bond. So you're going to have tetrabromoalkane or in general tetrahaloalkane. Fine.
okay so this is a about addition of hbr and br2 we can have addition of water as well and addition of water in particular is called hydration so hydration is also a kind of addition reaction now you have alkyne let me take uh, propyne we have propyne addition of water would be done by h plus h2o and we take mercuric ion we take a uh, generally mercuric sulfate generally a uh, mercuric sulfate is taken to give mercuric ion into the system we will see what's the use of mercuric ion mercuric ion is used as a catalyst just to initiate the reaction uh, and uh, speed up the reaction when we have this we get a good looking strong stable acetone because of c double bond o c double bond o is the strongest double bond of organic chemistry we get acetone how do we get acetone let's see how do we get acetone we have propyne now when we have mercuric ion this mercuric ion is going to initiate the cleavage of uh, one of the pi bond of this alkyne of this propyne mercuric ion is electron deficient and when you have a electron rich species like this then electron is going to come some electronic density is going to come out and is going to go into the orbital of this mercury so this pi bond the this pi bond is already broken to certain extent before a h plus can come and break this pi bond so this mercuric ion is utilized or is needed to initiate the reaction or to speed up the reaction because if if h plus is going to come and ask for electron or when h plus is going to come and start to break the spy bond that process would be slow because s plus is a small cute little atom ion so that's not going to have a fast uh, initiation of the reaction so when you already have a ion already breaking the pi bond then the reaction would be faster that's the purpose of adding mercuric ion so for the sake of simplicity let's assume that mercuric ion is there and breaking the spy bond and now let's bring h plus when you're going to add h plus h plus is going to ask for electron that's what it did up till now in each and every reaction we saw adding h plus now when h plus is going to be added electron is going to be shifted from this position into the orbital of hydrogen and we have done it million times so i'm not going to show all the baby steps now now we have grown up now i can skip steps and that's not going to reel your head if you have done enough practice so this h plus in the next step let me show this h plus is going to a form a bond with one of the carbon like this and a plus charge is going to appear on this carbon this is a routine kind of step we have seen in many reactions so in the next step what is going to happen now you see this carbon is needs a bond this carbon needs some electron to fulfill its deficiency of electron so and the sulfate ion is, shouldn't bother you because sulfate ion is a highly stable ion it is never going to participate it is just going to take rest in any corner of the system the only contender to give electron is water because oxygen has two lone pair so water is going to come the rescue of this carbon right and uh, form a bond with carbon when that happens we know from many many reactions that we have done before this oxygen is going to gain acquire a plus charge density and that plus charge density is going to be lost by losing one hydrogen oxygen will have plus charge when h hydrogen will come out and that will bring out oxygen out of its misery of holding plus charge so to write it properly what we have is let me write it like this oh so what we have is enol we have alkene and we have alcohol generally this this type of compound is called enol we have enol form 
And if you remember something called tautomerism, you will remember that enol is less stable and quickly tautomerizes to the keto form. Now, if you don't know what this tautomerism is, you can always go back and study and come back again. No problem there. So go back and study tautomerism. So those who know what tautomerism is, we show tautomerism via this by this symbol. When this tautomerizes, it forms keto form and the keto form is this acetone the carbon which is having OH the same carbon is going to form C double bond O because this carbon oxygen bonding is not broken this pi bond is going to shift here the C double bond O is going to be form formed here so this is acetone and C double bond O is the strongest double bond of organic chemistry so this is going to be a stable compound so acet alkyne is going to give ketone in general ketone as the product. 